Well hey friends, it's Mandy and this is Trim Healthy Tuesday here at Sweetly Home. I'm so thankful that you came back today or if this is your first time here at my channel, welcome. Today's post, or video I guess I should say, um, is a little bit more vulnerable. Um, I like to kind of vary things up between sharing bits about the program for, and then the next time I'll share like a recipe. Um, and today I just, I wasn't even planning on filming this, so if I seem a little out of it or like I'm thinking, uh, it's because I am. Um, I don't quite yet have my thoughts together, but I have them together enough that I just wanted to share with you my heart because when I just kind of turn on the camera and talk, I just am sharing with you what's exactly in the surface of my heart um, because I haven't pre-programmed or pre-scripted what I wanted to say. Um, it's just kind of there, so hang with me. <laughs> so I've been celebrating. Um, I've been celebrating some wins in my Trim Healthy Mama journey. I have been on plan for, it'll be two years in May, um, and it's been a real progress, uh, progressive sort of thing in changing my life. Trim Healthy Mama just hasn't impacted what I'm eating, but it's impacted what my family is eating. It's also started to impact the choices that we make as far as our skincare products, the things that we are bringing into our home, the quality of foods that we're eating. And when I first started the program, I was just doing it for myself. Um, I was switching out my you know, sugar for a natural sweetener, like a stevia blend or something like that. Um, and I was still giving my family a lot of processed, packaged, chemical-laden kind of things uh, because that's what they liked. And along through the journey, I realized I wasn't okay with that. And so we've been baby stepping into a more real food sort of approach to life. And it's been wonderful. It's been really great. And I am starting to now see the fruits of those labors um, as we just kind of move more towards that lifestyle. We are so far from perfect. Um, very far from perfect. Perfection does not live here and you will hear me say that over and over again because it just doesn't. I don't pretend to be perfect. I want to do my best. I want to give the Lord my best. I want my um, my life and my, my body to be pure and blameless before the Lord. But I'm not perfect. You're not perfect and no one will ever be perfect. The only perfect was Jesus Christ and we needed his perfection to cleanse all of our garbage and our sin and to make us more of a, refle of a, of a reflection of him. And my heart has been really turning towards the resurrection uh, at the time of filming. Easter is less than a week away. And so my heart has really been turning towards that. And in my very physical world, uh, my thoughts have been turning towards Easter as far as Easter dinner and the treats that potentially could be coming into our home. And I did buy my kids um, a few treats, some jelly beans and some uh, candies. Um, not a lot, just a few things. Um, so I did uh, bring that sort of stuff into my home and pre preparing to give it to my family. Again, I'm not, I'm not perfect. Um, so... On Saturday evening, we had been at my in-laws house and we lived with my in-laws for almost five years while we did a whole home gut and renovation. Basically every outside wall of our house was torn down and rebuilt. My husband did 90% of the work himself while working a full-time job. That's neither here nor there, but just to give you the reference point that we lived with my in-laws for a while and some of our stuff is still there, just a few things at this point. But one of the things was a garment bag of some dresses of mine. And with Easter approaching, I thought, I'm going to try on these dresses. Um, some of them, actually one of them, I never even got to wear because I bought it for a trip that my husband and, and I went on. And shortly thereafter, I found out I was pregnant with my son. And after having him, um, my body completely changed. I'm a two-time C-section mama, so if you're familiar with the C-section body... That's me right here. Um, 
but I was hopeful. I was hopeful that I would be able to fit into these dresses, all of which, except for one, had been bought before I had kids. But uh, as I stood in my bedroom trying these things on, I was sadly mistaken. And I think it just started to derail me a bit. Um, and all of the highs that I had been celebrating, the fact that I had lost 10 pounds in March, the fact that I'd started doing some exercising and I could see some mental shifts starting within my mind. Um, I just started to railroad myself uh, in not being able to fit into these dresses. And um, some of those areas that uh, negative self-talk likes to invade started to happen. And, you know, I think sometimes we say things to ourselves that we would never say to another human being, ever. Um, we can be so good at absolutely beating ourselves up and telling ourselves the worst possible things and to pick apart our very selves. Um, and we would never even dream of doing that to another human being, but we can easily do that to ourselves. And that's where I found myself, and I found myself in self-loathing and being angry at all of the parts of me that didn't fit in these dresses and parts of me that um, I didn't like and speaking negatively, negatively to those parts and to myself and how far I still have to go and it's starting to make me teary even thinking of it. Um, and in that moment of self-loathing, I just very clearly heard the Lord speak to my heart and he reminded me that Satan is the father of lies and he carefully crafts those lies so that they will weave themselves around our hearts and he whispers the very things that are our pain, our fear, our, our self-hate our self-loathing, he whispers those things into our ears and tells us that we are not good enough, that we never will, that we can't. Um, and God reminded me of his goodness. And I want to read with you um, some of what I wrote in my Trim Healthy Mama journal. I uh, shared with you about this journal before. This is what it is. Um, I had went to my bookstore and picked up a notebook that just spoke to me. I love the pages. I love the binding. Um, I love that it's got the Trim Healthy Mama Blue. I just, I loved it. And so I purchased something that would speak to me. And I have been turning myself to this journal more often than not, spilling out the good, the bad, and the ugly of all that I am accomplishing through the program. My hope is to one day be on the other side of this journal having filled it up and to be able to actually burn this thing and um, celebrate how far I have come and that I do not have to relive this stuff anymore. That's my ultimate hope. Um, but I want to read you a few excerpts from this and I hope and pray that it will minister to your heart today. Mama, if you are not a mama of faith, that is that's okay. Um, I don't want to discourage you from watching these videos, um, but this is just part of my journey with Trim Healthy Mama, and I want to be able to share all parts of that. Um, and so if you're planning to turn this off, I would encourage you to tune in later, and then tune in next week uh, for a recipe video. But let me share with you my thoughts. Well, Mamas, in real life fashion, I got interrupted, and it is several several hours later and I'm here to finish up this video. Sorry if I look a little different. I'm a tired mama tonight. Um, but I wanted to finish up these thoughts. So I pulled I pulled out my journal and I started to write about all of the shame and all of the frustration and just all of the inner turmoil that I was feeling. And then I wrote, but God but God whispered to my heart and told me that he makes weak things strong, that I am worthy, that he calls me by name. He reminded me that the devil is the father of lies and he crafts those lies specifically to destroy me, to play on my confidence, 
to attack my weaknesses. God reminded me that I am more than a conqueror in Him and that by His wounds I am healed. Because for me, a lot of this journey has to come from a place of healing. Healing my body, healing my emotions, healing past hurts, and becoming the person that God created me to be whole and healthy and fully present and fully alive. So I turned to my Bible and I wrote down a couple of verses on weaknesses, or on weakness. Um, the first is 1 Corinthians 12, sorry, 1 Corinthians 1, 25, and this is the second part of the verse, and it says, And the weakness of God is stronger than man's strength. And that spoke to me on so many levels because oftentimes I do things in my own strength. I try and get up the gumption to do whatever it is that is in front of me to do, and that is where my weak living happens. Y'all, like I say it over and over and over again because I am can be so stuck in weak living. And God just <laughs> tells me, Chica, I am stronger than your strength. And I need to remember that and I need to put that into practice and play every single moment of my day, whether it's true and healthy mama related or just mom life in general or whether I'm trying to get through a struggle or whatever it is, God is strong. He is stronger than my weakness and he is stronger than your weakness, sister. The second verse is 2 Corinthians 12, 9, and I believe it's 10. I didn't write the second verse, maybe 11, I'm not sure. But my grace is sufficient for you for my power is made perfect in your weakness. And this was the verse that kind of kept going through my head uh, when I felt like God was just speaking to my heart. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses so that Christ's power may rest on me. That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses, in insults, and in hardships, and persecutions, and difficulties. And this is the key. For when I am weak, then I am strong. So my weakness in him is strength because it's no longer about me. I can rely on his strength and his power to pull me through this journey, to give me strength when I am tempted to eat all bad things, when I am struggling through my feelings of just wanting to give it all up because what is the point? I'll never conquer this journey. I will never be on the other side of it. All of those debilitating thoughts, feelings, and fears, and all of that that wells up inside of me, God is stronger than that. For when I am weak, then I am strong for his power. Is made perfect in my weakness and in yours. This upcoming week, I just really want to encourage you to take some time. If you are struggling with those inner thoughts, with those fears, with thoughts that nobody else can see, perhaps you have got a really good together exterior, but on the in interior, it's a mess. Take it to God. Because he sees, he knows you are an open book before him and there is nothing that you can hide. And he desperately loves you, Mama. He desperately loves you and desperately pursues you. And he wants you to bring that brokenness to him. Because in that brokenness, he can heal you. I just feel like... <sighs> like I just want to pray over us this week. And I hope you're okay with that. Dear God, I just thank you for my Trim Healthy Mama friends, my sisters here, Lord, my sisters in Christ. I thank you, God, for each and every single one of them who found this video, who clicked on it, and who have taken away a tiny little nugget, God. I pray that that nugget, would, they would know that it was you, that you put something in their heart, that you will fan that flame, Father, that this is not about my words, but God, it is about you speaking through me, speaking life into the broken and dead places. And we pray, God, that this upcoming week, as we face temptation 
and as we face struggle and as we face defeat, I pray, dear God, that we would remember that in your power, we are made strong. And that you, God, you, you carry us, you want to see us healed. You want to see us fully alive. And we pray, Father, that as we go into this resurrection week, and Lord, we think about your death and about the pain and the punishment and the torture that you endured for our sakes because you loved each and every single one of us just that much, that you were sent to die. We thank you, God, for that. We thank you, and our thank you can never be enough. May our lives glorify you, Lord, as we, as women, strive to do our best to bring you glory in our everyday lives, through our health, through our relationships, through our hands and feet, the things that we do and say. God, may you be glorified. We thank you, Lord, for this time together. And we pray, Lord, that you would bring us all back again next week for another time together. I thank you, Jesus, for all you do. In your precious and holy name, amen. Have a great week, sisters. Bye.